Hi everybody, this is Chef Chote. I'm going to show you guys how to make rice pilaf. I know that you guys have made it before in CUL 140. Today's just going to be a review. I'm only going to be making a small amount of the uh, rice pilaf. I'm going to get started with my clarified butter and my olive oil. Okay, we're going to get right into our all-clad pot. Our oven is on 350. I'm using a conventional oven. So I'm going to get my pot ready. It's hot. I'm going to add my diced onion to that and make sure that you've minced it. Remember folks, this recipe is in your on cooking book on page 644 and this is the classical rice pilaf. I have my stock simmering here. I have a ladle. I use a ladle that has the amount on it. This is a four ounce ladle that I have set up. My stock is simmering. If you don't have stock, you can use uh, chicken base and water if you have to. I have fresh stock, which I made the other day. So I've got my bay leaf in here, as you can see, with my clarified butter and my minced onion. Next thing I'm going to do is add my rice. Okay, so the ratio is always two to one. So you don't want to get any color, but you want to coat the fat on the, right, uh, on the rice, okay, like I'm doing right here. And after I do that, I'm going to take my stock, which is simmering, and I'm going to bring it right over to my pot. And I'm going to add one and two. That is going to be just about it. I got about, I think I have two ounces of rice in there, and I'm going to use four ounces of chicken stock. You're going to bring it up to a simmer, just like I'm showing you. Okay, I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to shut the, the rice off. It's important you don't lose the liquid, right, from evaporation, right, making sure you have a lid and have your oven on and making sure that your oven has a rack set up so you can put your pot in with the lid on. And we will cook this, folks, for about 18 minutes. And I will use my timer because I'm at home. And away we go. All right, guys, thank you.